Something interesting has been leaked out regarding Persona 5R, and I'm covering it today, all right? So uh, sit down for this one. I gotta sit down, hold on, give me a second. I don't even know why I'm standing up. Before I get into what this is exactly, let me just say, hold most of what I say in this video with a grain of salt. No one is for sure if this is true or not. We won't officially be confirmed of anything until March, but it's still super fun to theorize before Persona 5R comes out, so that's why I'm making this video, all right? So a Smash Bros Ultimate data miner who goes by the name Dr. Hypercake on Twitter was looking through Joker's DLC code and he found some sweet stuff. One being Joker's stage, which has been leaked to be mementos, which honestly, Honestly, that was something we all saw coming. Well, at least I saw that coming. I thought that that was pretty much the only stage that made sense. The memento stage. But something we didn't see coming was a user was going through the dump and noticed that Joker's code name, which apparently has been Jack in the string dump, had an extension with the name Jane. According to Dr. Hypercake, this is the naming convention for costume folders in Smash 4 and Ultimate. Now following Jane is something titled Pony Hair System Shape 2, which users are guessing means whatever this costume is for Joker could mean he'd have a ponytail? Let me go ahead and put that in simpler terms because saying extensions and stuff is just too complicated, all right? Let's, let's break it down a little bit. Due to this code, People are basically saying Joker is going to have a female alternate costume and the name Jane is a female variant of the name Jack. But before we jump the gun and say female Joker for Smash, let's look into this a bit more. First off, the timing of Joker's release in Smash is Perfect. Joker's Smash debut will be in April, which is right after Atlas's reveal of Persona 5 R, which will be in the last week of March. This would be a great marketing tactic for Atlas and Smash Bros. Imagine them revealing a female Joker in March. The fan base will explode over the news and get super hyped about it. A female MC, that would be amazing. Then in April, when Joker gets put into Smash, we will be able to play as her. The hype would be real. This also could explain why Joker hasn't had any true gameplay shown of him as of late. I think Sakurai might be waiting for the big reveal in March. All right, so let me address the people who say that there can't be a female option in P5R due to the story. Now, I explained this in my why isn't there a female option in Persona 5 video, but some things I said must have flown over people's heads in that. So let us explain that again. Now, what I'm about to say here is fact. This came out of the mouth of the great director, Katsura Hashino himself. Now in a recent interview with Waypoint, Katsura Hashino said that players can only assume the role of a man because adding a woman would have been a huge amount of work. He goes on to say, honestly, to put that female character option into the game, we'd have to cut other things to compensate for the workload. And every time that's the situation, we'll basically say, it's not worth it. Now as we all remember, Persona 5 was in development for a long time. Time. They didn't have time to take any back steps whatsoever. The clock was ticking. They needed to get the game out to consumers as soon as possible. As Hashino said, they would have had to cut and change a lot of different things to get the female MC to work in Persona 5. A simple gender swap wouldn't have worked with Persona 5 because of the reasons you guys are saying. A lot of you guys have been saying different reasons down below, and yeah, you guys are right. If they did a simple gender swap like they did in Persona 3, portable, it wouldn't work that way. But nowhere does Hashino say it wouldn't work whatsoever. Now some of you guys are probably saying, well, Persona 4 Golden didn't have one, so Persona 5 can't have one either, Blaze. I got you. Chill out. I got you. I'm going to answer your question, all right? Hashino's got you on that one, too. Regarding Persona 4 Golden not having a female option, Hashino goes to say, With Persona 4, though, we needed the character to come from a big city to a small country town to be the driving force of the story, and it seemed more natural for a male character to fulfill that role. There are story aspects to this decision as well. Now I know, I know, you guys are like, well, what the hell does that mean? Hashino kind of worded that a little weird, so I'm gonna tell you my interpretation of what I think he meant to say. So I think when they wrote Persona 4's story, a male protagonist was the only thing in mind originally. I don't think they had any intentions of making the MC female at all. So they wrote the story in a way that only worked best for a male character. Now the thing about Persona 5 is, it does seem like they were planning on having a male and female route, but due to lack of development time, they had to just sideline the female story, which gives them the opportunity to pick that female MC story back up in the future, hence Persona 5R. I'll be completely honest with you guys. 
when we look at Persona 3 and 4's remasters, they make a lot of sense. Persona 3 had a lot of annoyances in some of its gameplay mechanics, one being the inability to control your party members, and the other was the annoying fusion mechanic. Persona 4 Vanilla also had some annoyances fixed with Golden while adding some extra content. But here we are with Persona 5 which is easily a 10 out of 10 JRPG. Probably not the best Persona game, but definitely a near perfect role playing game. How do you remaster a game that already is a 10 out of 10 game? Other than making a sequel, of course, duh. I mean, maybe you could add a couple of social links and maybe a new palace or two, but I don't really see the need to remaster Persona 5 in any way. If anything, minor changes like that could have just been DLC, which we know Atlas loves. <laughs> Cough. A female MC option with different story elements, new social links, new romantic subplots, new palaces, and maybe even a new party member. Now that sounds like a remaster to me. By the time Persona 5 R releases, the Japanese version of Persona 5 will be more than three years old. That's the average development time of a full video game. That's more than enough time for Hashino and the team to work on the female plotline that apparently was a huge amount of work. I'm going all in on this guys. I really do think that there's a huge possibility of a female MC in Persona 5 R. Woo! I gotta take a break on that one. I'm tired y'all. I'm way too passionate about this game. <laughs> now before we end this video, I wanted to talk about what the possibility of the R in Persona 5 R could represent because there's been a lot of speculation on that. There's been so many people saying so many different things. Racing, revolution, rebellion. There's been so many different things. Now let me go ahead and tell you guys what I think it could be. If we look back at Persona 4 Golden, Golden makes sense in Persona 4's case because it represents an upgraded variant of the color yellow, which was originally used everywhere in Persona 4's art. So Golden only makes sense, right? Well, for Persona 5, the game's main color is red. Now I tweeted the title that I think Persona 5 R is gonna be, and a lot of you guys replied to it. Some people seem to agree, believe it or not. So what do I think the R in Persona 5 R is? I think it is Ruby. No, not, not that Ruby. This Ruby, the gym. Ruby, like Pokemon Ruby. Thieves are known for stealing valuable items, which gems are among those valuable items. A Ruby is a gem, of course, and it is red, which is Persona 5's color scheme. So Ruby fits as the game's title perfectly. Now, I might be reaching when I say this, but Ruby is generally a female name, and if this game has a female protagonist in it, like I think it will, having Ruby as the title fits the female MC perfectly, in my opinion. I actually think it's it's great. I like it. I like how Ruby just kind of slides off the tongue. It sounds good. I, I hope this is true. All right. I'm done convincing you guys. I'm done with it. I said my piece about this situation. So tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you think a female MC is going to happen? Also, what is Persona 5 R? What do you guys think the title of Persona 5 R is? What, is it, what does that R represent? I'd like to hear that in the comment section down below. Hopefully this video helped out a little bit and uh, got your guys' brains pumping and got you a little bit more hype for March when we're actually going to get the reveal for this. And if we do get the female MC, like I said, I want you guys to come back to this video and comment down below and be like, Blaze, you were right. <laughs> or you could say, Blaze, you were wrong and you were a dumbass too. That's fine. It's cool. Anyways, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and follow your boy on Twitter. It is at BlazingKid67. I'd really appreciate that. But anyways, have an amazing day. Deuces. Hope you'll never die. I never felt like da -da -da -dum -dum. I never felt like da -da -dum -dum. But there's the rhythm.